Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will be working on our opponent AI fighting system again. Okay? First of all right here we will be adding our opponent character. So if you go inside game then player characters then let's add this Jin Kazama as the opponent character. Okay make sure it is on the ground like this and then uh, make sure that the height of each of the character is pretty much the same so if I check it right here okay we need to make the height of Chin Kazama is 1.1 1.1 and 1.1 right that's it now let's move it back again right here to this point and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on prefab unpack completely okay then add a character controller to it okay let's make it 1.3 turn on gizmo so that we can see it make the height as 2.9 okay that's it now it needs the controller and the script so for the controller if we click on eddy let's duplicate it and drag and drop it in Jin Kazama now we can rename this to Jin Kazama and then click on Jin Kazama and drag and drop it in there Okay, and then we need to uh, do some changes in this okay we just need to change some few animations so the idle will be the same if you check the attack one okay this is the attack one okay and then you can see this is this next animation which is this one okay so we want to change the Jin Kazama actually Let's first of all click on Jin Kazama and rename it and right here type opponent okay so whatever controller is for opponent we will type opponent at the end of it okay then click on Jin Kazama again this is the animation okay so click on attack one animation and drag and drop this second one in there okay then if you check the second one it will be the same if you check the third one this is the third one in the third one we have the second animation which is this one okay so we will drag and drop this second one now if we check the fourth one which is this one so if we check the this one as you can see there are these two animation okay so you can select whatever animation you want but I will leave the fourth animation as this one okay that's it so in this way you can change animations for each character if you want and for the opponents as well and everything else will be the same as I told you for the opponent alright now once the animation and character controller everything is set up click on game click on sprites uh, actually scripts and the scripts folder create another folder by the name of opponent open it and in here we need to create a Cisha script by the name of opponent AI okay click on Jin Kazama drag and drop the script at the top let's open this up on this script everything will be pretty much same as our fighting controller but we will be doing a lot of changes as well okay so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of the variables from the script okay we will be doing the changes step by step okay so let's start from the variables copy and paste it simply right here then the movement speed will be left as it is the rotation speed as well okay we will leave the character controller as it is animator as it is as well then in the actually right here we just need to type opponent and right here as well opponent okay so 
now moving to fight we will leave the attack cooldown as it is attack damage as it is attack animations dodge distance last attack time this will be as it is as well the variable which we will be adding is now an integer by the name of attack count by default it will be zero and this will be the number of attack performed okay if we will store that value in this attack count then actually right after this we will create another public integer by the name of random number all right when you do that then after it we will be creating a float by the name of attack radius and let's set the attack radius by default to 2 all right then after this we need a reference to the fighting controller script okay so we will say public fighting controller let's make this an array because we will be having more than one player and on each of the player we will be having this fighting controller script okay so that's why we need to make this an array and then name this as fighting controller but the f will be small then we need a reference to all of the player transform for now we have one but as i told you in the future we will be having more than one so that's why make sure to make it an array okay name this as players then create a public pool by the name of is tagging damage all right this is all we need uh, to change in the variables for this opponent now in the next video what we will do is we will add movement to our opponent and also we will add a code in which the opponent will attack the player and then after that we will add a code in which the player will take damage and also the opponent will take damage as well okay so we will be doing that in the upcoming videos so see you guys in the next one